as you know, I'm kind on the Tech Pro, and in this lesson, and in this very short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to dockerize your Spring Boot application in very few minutes. So the step-by-step -step is right here, and I have a simple REST API I built. Uh, you can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead to run this application. This application is simply an API that returns a list of person's objects as a list. So it runs on port 8080. So if I assess it, we will have a list of users or a list of persons uh, localhost at port 8080 uh, slash and you have a list of uh, objects returned right here okay okay so fine so this is running on my local machine on port 8080 the question now is how do we dockerize this application the step by step is right here in my website there are three steps I'm going to show you how to dockerize using two methods. Method one, you use a Docker file, and method method two, you use build packs without Docker file. So let's get started. The first part of building the Spring application uh, is what I already done. I've already done it, so feel free to just do it. Okay, so the step two, after having your application, you need to create the archive or the Java archive. And the first command you need to use to do this is called MVN clean install. So if you look at the target folder, you see a number of things generated right here, but there is no jar file here. So I'm going to run MVN clean install to generate the jar file that we are going to use in the Docker file. So I'm going to say MVN clean install. Uh, I'm going to stop this application before I run this. Okay, MVN clean install, enter, and it starts building the archive. And once it completes, we is going to also, uh, yeah, so you can see now if I refresh the target folder, you can see that we have uh, the Docker file created here as a jar file, you can see right here. So, sorry, this is not the Docker file, but the jar file. All right, so this is what we've done right now. The next thing now is to create a Docker file. Now, this is very important. Take note, I'm going to create an empty file and I'm going to call it Docker file. Take note of the, of the casing of the name is Docker file. So it's not Docker file or Docker file. Anyhow, this is not going to work. The only thing that's going to work is Docker file like this okay now you don't have to give any extension and just hit the enter key and the docker file have been created is empty so the content of the docker file is going to be this code right here i'm going to paste it and i'm going to show you i uh, explain to you what this is all about now if you look at this it says from Adopt open jdk open jdk alpine jr uh, jre so you are getting your pulling the image, the Spring Boot image from here, exposing port 8080, meaning that this, the, the container that will be created from this image will be accessible from port 8080, and the jar file is this. This jar file is right, uh, the one in the target folder right here, and we add, uh, expose this jar file as app.jar, and then the entry point is going to be any of this. So this is basically what you, are, what you need to do. Take note that you have to use the, the same name of what you have in your uh, target folder right here. Okay, so I'm going to save. So once you've saved this, you have your Docker file. Now the nice thing we want to do is to build the image. Now let me just show you something. So I'm going to clear my screen. Now for you to build the Docker image, you need to have Docker running on your system. So if I go to Docker, you have Docker here, so you need to start it up. So once you have Docker, you can also check the images that are running by saying Docker image ls, and we can see that there is no image running right now. Again, you can also say Docker container ls, you see that there is no container running, but once we create our Docker image, We'll see the image and we also see the container once we run the container. So I'm going to play my terminal again and I'm going to now build the Docker image. Now to build the Docker image, simply issue the command docker build and specify 
the, uh, the, uh, the tag. So the tag is simply like the name of the image. So I'm going to call it demo app and specify where you want the image to be built. Uh, specify the location of the of the Docker file, and it's going to be in the same location. So I use a dot, a dot, or a period. So I'm going to hit the Enter key, and it going to it's going to build the image, and it builds it. How do I know it builds the image? I can also just say Docker image ls, and you can see that we have this image latest built 11 seconds ago. Now this is the image. And now how do we then run this image? To run this image, simply run, simply say docker run and specify the image. So minus p8080 colon 8080 says that this image is going to run on port 8080 inside the container and also outside the container as well. So I'm going to say docker run minus p8080 8080 and specify the name of the image you want to run, docker app, demo app, sorry. So I'm going to hit the enter key and it's going to uh, run this image just like before. It's going to run this image starting it at port 8080. And if I come here and refresh, you can see that it works and you can see uh, it works. All right, let me now show you the second method of building uh, a docker file. So I'm going to just delete everything. Uh, I'm going to delete the docker file. So I'm going to hit the delete. So now we want to build the, 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 the created docker image this time using uh, build packs. We don't need a docker file. There is a feature introduced in Spring Boot 2.3.0.m1. Okay, so I'm going to first go to my terminal and I'm going to clear my terminal. Let me just see if I get back to my terminal here. All right, so let me clear my terminal. And now you can see that we don't have a Docker file, but we will actually we will build <coughs> the Docker image. So basically, I'm going to uh, delete any container I already built. So if I say Docker container ls minus a, you can see that we have a container running. So I'm going to delete this container by copying the, the name of the container and say docker container rm and specify the name of the container. And now we remove the container. So if I check for the container, you can see there is no container, but I think the docker image might just be there. So if I say docker image ls, you can see the Docker image here. So I'm going to delete the Docker image as well. So I'm going to copy the image ID and say Docker image RMI and then uh, paste. So I think it deleted it. So I'm going to clear my terminal right now. Okay, so we don't have anything. Now we want to build the image uh, using build packs and the instruction says you simply enter the command MVN Spring Boot build image and I'm going to hit the enter key. So it does exactly the same thing and builds the image. And now when I check Docker image LX, I'll have, so you say pulling image, bu uh, pulling builder image from Docker. So we have two images that are needed to build uh, this image of my application. And I'm going to show you in a minute. So this makes things very easier because this time you don't need to use a Docker file. Uh, I think, yeah, so, all right, let's see. All right, I think it worked. Let's see. So once this process completes, we are now going to see two different images uh, created. Um, all right, so if I now say Docker, image ls we can see three different images the runner and also the builder okay all right so i'm going to clear my terminal and i'm going to now run this um i'm going to run this i'm going to run this uh image i already have here so the name of the image is docker tutorial and the name of the tag is zero 
uh, 0, 0 0.0.1 0 .0 snapshot. So I'm going to say Docker run. Just keep this open so I can see. Docker run. And specify, I'm exposing this pod. Uh, 8080 inside and outside and the image name is docker tutorial permit me to just shift this a little bit and the tag is 0 .0 0.0.1 uh, snapshots so let me just make sure I have the name correctly so it's 0 .0 0.0.1 snapshot and the image name is docker tutorial so i'm going to hit the enter key and it's going to spin up the container and run the image just like before so i'm actually going to stop here and you've seen how the two ways of building a docker image or running a spring boot application in docker you can use the docker file and also you can use build packs without the, do the, doc the docker file so i'm going to stop here please remember to subscribe to my channel if you have challenges following please let me know in the comment box below I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.